Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of sine of x minus x divided by x cubed. Now if we were to just let x tend to 0 in the numerator we would just have sine of 0 minus 0 and this is just equal to 0 as sine of 0 is just equal to 0 and in the denominator we would have 0 cubed which is also just equal to 0 so our limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0 and in order to solve it what we're going to do is apply El Hopital's rule repeatedly to it. Now El Hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit as x approaches some value c of a function f divided by another function g then this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f divided by the derivative of g given that f and g are both differentiable at c and that they're of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity and you can apply this rule indefinitely as long as the criteria which I've just specified are satisfied so what we're going to go ahead and do is apply a Hopital's rule to this problem right here we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 now the derivative of the numerator is just cosine of x minus 1 and the derivative of the denominator is just 3x squared. If we were to let x be equal to 0 we would just have cosine of 0 minus 1 and this is just equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 and in the denominator we would just have 3 multiplied by 0 squared which is also just equal to 0. So our limits of indeterminate form 0 over 0 again. So let's apply our Hopital's rule for a second time in order to proceed with this limit. Doing so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of minus sine of x divided by 6x. Again, if we were to just let x tend to 0, this limit would be of indeterminate form 0 over 0, and we would have to apply El Hopital's rule for a third time in order to solve it. So doing that, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of minus cosine of x divided by 6. Now notice if we were to just let x tend to 0, we would just have minus 1 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator. And this is our final answer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful.